All right, let's talk about the Pistons the other night. They beat Miami. A lot of people think that's a huge accomplishment. Um, and it is because it's one of the teams that we thought they would lose to in January. Some of us, me in particular. But uh, let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Let's talk about Grant. Let's talk about Blake. But um, I didn't catch the game. See some highlights. But Jeremy Grant, you know, it's just to the point. We're going to start off with him. It's probably going to go down as one of the one of the greatest or top free agent acquires or accusation acquisitions for the for the Pistons easily. We talk about you talking about uh free agents. I can't remember. I think Ben got traded here. I can't remember how we got Chauncey, but he might go down as one of the best free agents that we got. You know what I'm saying? It got to if I know Ben got traded. Uh, obviously Rasheed got traded here. Rip got traded here. So he's talking about free agents. He might go down if Chauncey wasn't a free agent. He might go down as say, one of the top two or three free agents we got because you remember with the Bad Boy Pistons, it was all about drafting, and then you traded Adrian Danley for Mark McGuire. A lot of people didn't like that. Um, it came about drafting, you know, uh, John Sally, Dennis Rodman, Joe Dumars, traded for Bill Lambert, we drafted Isaiah Thomas, obviously. So in a, in a city who don't get a lot of big free agents, I mean especially on the basketball side of things and the football side of things. We don't get a lot of free agents for Jeremy Grant to come here. Troy Weaver must have seen something. Troy Weaver must have seen something in him at Oklahoma City. He, he must have seen something in him like, you know what? He got it. And for him to get the green light, and it's kind of a uh, – it's kind of really hurting him that Blake Griffin is just being forced to play. I, I think at, it's at the point where – well, Blake Griffin, you might want to pay him the shit. This just don't be here. You might want to put a shirt and tie on him. Real talk. Put it. Put a shirt and tie on him. Honestly, that's where I'm at with it. Because Blake is doing more harm than help. And Jeremy Grant, as soon as Blake kind of tapered off, Jeremy Grant took the hell off. He's shooting the ball. He's creating his own shot. He getting to the next. The next step for him. Other than consistency, is pretty much gonna make his play, his teammates better with the pass. And I'm at the point where you might want to flip Blake to Cleveland for Kevin Love, damn near. That's at the point you did, but Kevin Love don't never play neither. And I think he got a little more more years than Blake, so that might not be smart. But with Grant, just the next phase for him is to be consistent and and really facilitate, you know. And then also, you know, if they get another guy, another star. Can he be a good third player? Can he put a bit? Can he go back to being a glue guy? But what you get from him is defense. You're getting scoring. You're getting shooting. And really, what you get in the guy is a modern day uh, three or four. So, really, what you hope to get, you, you start with him. You hope that you're able to put talent around him. You hope you're able to find a point guard that, that can, you know, that can really assist him. And then you just put the pieces around him. But at 26, 27 years old, with him coming in, doing what he's doing now, I think a lot of people were surprised. You know, and, it, you know, it can't help to think, what if they would have brought Christian Wood back and Jeremy Grant? You know, you could have had your five, or your four, or your three, and your four for years to come. It just hey, it just haunts us that the Blake Griffin trade is still haunting us. You know, Stan Van Gundy tore this team down worse than, than Van Gundy. I mean, worse than Joe Dumars ever did. Dumars really, you know, he didn't draft well. <laughs> and he kind of messes up with Charlie V, Ben Gordon, and um Josh Smith, but sheesh. I'm talking about Reggie Jackson, the Blake Griffin trade. You know what I'm saying? It's just to the point where he set the franchise back. When they should have just rebuilt and Stan Van Gundy is just a, a terrible GM. I think we all can agree with that. Terrible. When he got Reggie Jackson, I was like, Reggie Jackson? He trash. And the Clippers stuck with him again. But, you know, with Jeremy Grant, you just, it's a pleasant surprise. The handles, the shooting, the confidence. You know, we I thought he was going to come in here and be a good 3 and D guy. But he's showing a lot more. Showing a lot more. And, you know, if I had to do it over again, you say Christian Wood or Jeremy Grant. To be honest, I'd probably go with Christian Wood. Oh, how you do that? See, just simply because you got uh, Dumboye, you know, it's, it, you just wasted a pick last year. And what's happened with Dubonye Sayoko is just simply he losing confidence. He, you know, people say, well, we, he suck. Well, shit, if I don't know if I'm going to play zero minutes one night, 20 minutes another night, you know, <laughs> 50 minutes the next night, whatever, however it go, 
Oh, you, you got to stay ready. Shit ain't like that. Like, the reason, you know, Jeremy Grant is getting to a groove because he know he going to play this amount of minutes. With Dubonye, it's just simply, I'm not getting no time. I'm behind Blake Griffin and Jeremy Grant, and we losing. And, and I'm, you know, we losing, and, and I'm still not getting the experience. So, with him, you just think, like, why was it important to draft him when you could have just went a, a few different ways? Why was it important to acquire Jeremy Grant? Over Christian Wood when you had Dubois. Dubois and Grant play the same position. They can play some four, but they more of, of a three spot. You know, seriously. So really, he riding on the bench with confidence, and then you make the mistake in drafting Killian Hayes, he trash. Oh, but we'll give you hope is Trey Weaver is able to see talent in Jeremy Grant, but you, you're just looking at it like, Jesus. Dion Bell is really hurting back there. Dubois, he's really hurting back there. It's at the point where you got to do what's best for him. Either you got to find a way to get rid of Blake and free some time up for him, or you got to find, you got to trade him. You know, and that's who, that's how the Pistons are gonna get better. Is what's the chance you you know finding free agents that don't get don't have big roles, and they come in, and and they come into Detroit and they they blossom. Not so often. Jeremy Grant is an anomaly. It's a blip. But to talk about y'all boy, y'all guy Blake Griffin, it's simply to the point where, you know, he doing more harm than foul. Harm than help, excuse me. And it, and really with Blake, it's time for Blake to go to the bench. Get off the bench and try to be a starter. Boy, you a reflection of your father, Gucci Man, for y'all who don't know. But it is time for him to go to the bench. It's time for him to take a minimum role. Really, I throw his ass on the bench and, and put him in a suit. That's what I would do. I put him in a suit. Just have him coach it. You know, maybe treat him like a, a pitcher. You know, throw him out there. Throw him out there every other uh every other five days or something like that. But Blake Griffin is just with Dubonye. It's just like but you looking at Blake like come on. On one half, you got this sexy Corvette, and the other half you got a, a, a Chevrolet Corsica. <laughs> you like, oh man, we want to drive the course because Blake Griffin is just an Asian superstar who has changed his game, but it's just to the point where he's not good enough to have the ball in his hand like Grant Hill, George Gervin, LeBron James, Scottie Pippen. And really here in Detroit, he hurting us. Let's keep it real. Blake Griffin is hurting Dubois, and you don't want to disrespect Blake by putting him on the bench and bringing him off the bench or putting him in a suit and tie and playing Dubois, but Dubois is the future, right? He's the, he's the present. Over Blake Griffin, it's time to move Blake Griffin to the bench. Maybe put him in the G League for a minute. You know, because we know what Blake Griffin is. He's a guy who, he take the ball, slow the offense down. He can't get up and down the court no more. When the last time you seen Blake Griffin dunk or catch an alley-oop? It's to the point where I tell Blake to go home. Real talk, I tell him to go home. You know, go back to California, wherever you're living at these days, and we'll call you when we need you. I might just eat that. I might just... Cut Blake, if it ain't no amnesty, eat, eat the payment and just pay him. <laughs> and, you know, just trade him like Chandler Parson. And then next year, just trade his rights. Because Blake ain't nothing good here for Blake. And this might be to the point where Blake Griffin's career is over with. Where he can't help no team. Off the bench, in the G League, in high school, <laughs> in AAU. It might be to the point where he can't help nobody. You know, and can he spot up and shoot the ball? Who knows? He don't love to post up no more. All you want to do is slow the defense down, slow the offense down, and they don't play no defense. And I'm guessing Denver didn't want him in a sign and trade for Brandon Plumley, so that's why we stuck with him. Which I think they still got 50 year old Paul Millsap over there. <laughs> they still got Paul Millsap. Him and Blake can make some work. <laughs> But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you thought. I think about Jeremy Grant basically shining and Blake Griffin just being the bum that we never wanted in Detroit right now. But that's what Detroit love to do, to get old washed-up superstars. And if you're the Lions, you love to make the good the good ones quit in their prime. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my links in the description. Want to make a donation, cash up, CJ Good 313 That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. 
Best way to donate, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist for more videos like this. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We gone.